Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today we're going to be doing a declutter of my concealers, primers, and whatever sort of mystery might be hidden in this particular drawer. That's all that's supposed to be in here, but I'm not positive that that's the case. So let's find out. Eyeshadow primer, regular primer, concealer. Don't have a ton of concealer, so that'll be pretty quick. But let's get started with the primer. Often I will get the travel size of a primer to try it first, or when I collect tons of these, because I'll get them in a Sephora order if I order online. Sometimes they'll give me one in the store, depending on you know what's behind the, the desk with all of the millions of little packets they can throw in there. Or I'll request a sample of something. Like for example, this is a sample of the Fenty primer, which I actually don't mind. I find with the Fenty foundation it's better if I just use moisturizer. It's just as good. So they don't play well together. I'm going to keep this for now. I'm going to use up the rest of the sample I was trying. Uh, my regular primer is this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the smoothing primer. I do like it and I actually did buy a full size after I'd been using this tube for a little while. I just haven't opened it yet. Bought this during the sale I think in April so it's been a while. I've been trying to use this up. It's pretty close but we're not quite there so I already have this one ready to go. I am going to keep this one. I do like it. I think it's especially good for my stage makeup. I do find that sometimes for my regular everyday wear this will start to look a little bit cakey towards the end of the day. It's something that's a little new so I think my skin might just be changing. So I am definitely going to keep using it, but I may just use it for my stage makeup most of the time and start trying some different primers for regular full day coverage. Because for stage makeup, I'm going to have that on for, especially indoors at a theater, I'm going to have that on for maybe four hours at a time, and that's fine. It doesn't have to last all day. It just has to look good for four hours. But if I'm outside running around and this is starting to get a little cakey looking after six hours and I still have two more hours of work, that's not working for me. So I'm going to keep an eye on this, but I'm, I, I'm definitely going to keep it for my stage makeup, but I don't know if I will continue using it for every day. Something I just used that I really didn't care for actually was this. This is the Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Makeup Primer in Champagne. I thought that as a primer this was pretty useless. I think this is good to put as a glow so if you're gonna mix it with something else to give yourself sort of like an, an inward glow on your face. But that's the same thing I'm gonna do with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors in a liquid form which I have a couple of those already. I was not a fan of this. As a primer I was not a fan of this at all so I did think it had a nice glow to it but I'm gonna Put it with my uh, liquid Becca's and try this one more time because this is definitely a more of a champagne color than those are. And uh, after that, if the second try is, if I still look as shiny and shimmering but not splendid as I did the last time, I'm definitely going to declutter this. So this has one more chance. It's on probation because it is relatively new. Uh, then we have the Hourglass Mineral Primer, the Mineral Veil. I do like this. It does have sunscreen in it. It has a pretty inoffensive smell. I think the hardest thing with this guy is it's sort of like um, there's a little spatula for you to get the pro the product out, and I don't I don't love this bottle. <laughs> I don't love using the spatula to get the primer out. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this up. I don't think I would purchase a full size. I think it's an okay primer. Uh, it is very expensive for me. It's just not worth the price, at least at this point. All right, next up, so we have the Smashbox Photo Finish. This is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I got this as a sample at some point. It is basically almost empty at this point. I think I can get like one or two more uses. I do like this primer. I think it's nice. It works well with my Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream that I use when I'm doing outdoor work because uh, it puts the sunscreen in my face but it doesn't reflect back in a photo so I st I'd still look pretty good in a picture. Uh, would I repurchase this? Um, I probably would not. I think I have some other ones that do basically the same thing. Uh, I certainly won't mind if I get more samples of it, but it's not my favorite primer, it, and it doesn't really like my Makeup Forever foundation at all. I didn't feel it worked well with my Fenty. It didn't like my MAC foundation, so it's really only good for me if I use it with my Smashbox stuff. So I'm just going to use this guy up, and then I'm going to get rid of that one too, and I'm pretty sure that'll be gone by the end of the month at this point. Then we have this, this is from Cora's. This is the Greek Yogurt Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. So this I think you're supposed to put on and then put on a primer. It's like a moisturizer you get ready for your primer, which is think why I threw it in the store in the first place. I saw priming. I thought, oh, it's a primer. I should put it in with the primers. I haven't tried this yet. You know, I'm just gonna make I'm gonna make a, a statement, a declarative statement. So this guy, 
These four right here have to be used up by the end of December, otherwise they have to go. So this is all keep stuff for the moment. This um, Laura Geller is on probation. And then these little guys here, I have to use them up. They're almost done at this point anyway. I just need to finish them and then get them out of this drawer because I don't have space for this nonsense. And then we have the NARS Radiance Primer. This is an SPF of 35 sunscreen. I've never tried this one either. I'm just going to, again, I'm going to put this in this pile. This stuff all has to get used. I, I'm not keeping these any longer than I have to. It's silly. And the same thing with this Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. I don't think I've tried this one before. So I'm just going to make a goal. I'm going to have to try a different primer every day this month if I have to. I'm getting rid of all of these samples. Yep, same thing with this. This, this is the Bye Bye Pores It Primer from It Cosmetics. This is the Oil-Free Poreless Skin Perfecting Serum Primer. Again, I'm just definitely going to use this guy, the Locket Featherweight Primer. This is from Kat Von D. Uh, I like this primer, actually. It's pretty nice. I don't have a full size of it. I used to have a mini size, I think, but I used it up at some point, and I just never got around to repurchasing it. Um, I actually don't know how well it plays with any of my current foundations, so I'll just use this guy, too. So I'm going to use all of this stuff. It's just going to get used. What's this guy? Poor Freshional. I actually don't like this, so I'm going to get rid of it. So we're going to let the Poor Freshional go. Toss that away. The Becca First Light Priming Filter. I just bought this as part of my Sephora VIB haul. I really love this this primer right now. Like I think it looks really great. Like, my skin looked great all day. I had a very busy job that day where I was basically going up and down the stairs in a building. I did 85 flights of stairs that day in about three and a half hours. Uh, that's more than I normally do, but you know, that's not an atypical thing to happen. So, and I still looks pretty good at the end of the day. My makeup stayed in place. So, you know what? I'm a big fan of this so far. It's Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It's the other one that came in this kit. So I'm going to try this out and see how this goes. I have high hopes, though. This first light one is pretty great. So I'm hoping that this one will also be great as well. All right, what else do we have? So we have the MAC Prep and Prime uh, Skin Base Visage. So this is just a mini that I got when I was buying some stuff off the MAC website. They threw this in. Um, this stuff is fine. My biggest issue with this primer, and I don't know if it'll be visible on camera, but uh, this primer this primer has glitter in it. And it doesn't look like it has glitter in it at first. You have to sort of massage it into your skin and wait for it to dry a little bit. I do think it's I think it's a good primer, but the amount of glitter that's in it, unless I'm going for a radiant shine that day, uh, it is not a good look for me, <laughs> so uh, I would prefer to keep my shimmer more localized as opposed to my entire face. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. There's essentially little tiny flecks of glitter all over my hand there, so that's what you're going for. Great. I don't think it improves the wear of my makeup, so I'm just going to commit to using up this guy too. So all of this nonsense, that's getting used up. Then we have the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I just got this as a points perk, so I haven't tried it at all, but I am looking forward to it. I've heard really good things, so I'm excited for that. I'm hoping that that works out well. Then we have this. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I got this in a Sephora Play Box. I feel like when I put this on my skin that nothing actually came off of this stick. I can't tell if the stick is getting any smaller. I can't tell if any product is coming off of this stick. I don't know that it does anything, so I'm getting rid of this. This is going, so... Goodbye, Milk Makeup Blur Stick. No thank you. Alright, this is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This is one of my heavy-duty sunscreen primers. So, what this is, is this treats, blurs, and protects. It's the Invisibler Perfecting Shield with a broad spectrum of SPF 30. Uh, it's really nice. I also really like to put it, um, you can put it on your face, but you can also put it on your neck. So, I do like this. I think it smells inoffensive for what it is. And uh, I'm excited to have this other side. So now that I have it, I'll be putting that on, especially when I'm out in the sun, because I'll be uh, traveling to Florida, and I'll definitely need the sunscreen. I'm definitely keeping that guy. And this is from Guerlain. Guerlain? Guerlain? I don't know. Guerlain. <laughs> Le Or Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold. This is a makeup base that has gold in it. Uh, this came in one of my really fancy Sephora play boxes. I laughed really hard when I opened it and saw it because this is just... Who needs gold flecks in a primer? It's just to make you feel fancy. And it does. It makes you feel fancy. But would I buy this again? I think I've, I've kept the box mostly just because it, it fit in the drawer a little better and I didn't lose it as much because I was trying to use it. Um, I've used it a couple of times. 
I don't think it does anything so magical to my makeup that it's worth purchasing a full size of it, but it is a fun little thing to have because who doesn't want gold infused makeup? That's pretty silly. So I'm definitely going to keep that for now. When I use it up, that's the end of that. And then we have this guy. This is the Urban Decay Quick Fix. This just came in one of my play boxes. This is the Hydra, Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. I have two Urban Decay finishing sprays. I don't remember what the difference between them is. And then I have this guy, which is the Quick Fix that you put on before. So my biggest problem is I forget to put this on because I think it's my finishing spray and it isn't. So then I started storing it with my primers, but then I'm still forgetting to put it on. So with this guy, it's clearly just I need to remember to use it and I have to remember that what it is. So it is something I'm gonna try out, but I actually haven't used it yet because I keep forgetting about it. So that's what I'm gonna keep. So let's move on to what I have left. So this is my concealers. Um, and basically none of this is actually gonna go anywhere because some of it's kind of new. But these are my two favorite concealers. I've kept it down to two. I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I'm in the shade Light Neutral. And I have my Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream in the shade L11 Neutral. I like both of these a lot. This is a little bit thicker. This is a little bit lighter, uh, but the coverage on it is really great. Uh, this is for more of a natural look. This is, I want to cover up everything and I want like a matte, uh, I want to look like a porcelain doll when I use this stuff. So they have different functions. I like both of them. Uh, so these are both, uh, under eye illuminators. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector Cream and this is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. Both of these are relatively new. I just got this in a play box in the last like two months and this guy came um, in the set with the two primers from Becca and basically this month I'm going to try these out and it's going to sort of be a battle of the under eye illuminators and I'm pretty sure one of them is going to be a clear winner. I, unless they're exactly the same, I'm going to like one of them better than the other and I'm just going to keep one. So by the end of the month I will get rid of the other ones. So that's my commitment here. And last up, we have my eyeshadow primers. So this was a point perk. Or this is one of those, I think, if you spent like $25 online at Sephora, you got to pick a full a sample of something. And so I ended up with the Laura Mercier. This is the Eye Basics in the shade Wheat. It's supposed to be an eyeshadow primer. And then I also have my regular one, which is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is in the anti-aging. This is the older packaging where it still uh, comes out of the tube as opposed to with the little brush. Uh, frankly, I prefer this because I feel like you waste it. Like you, you use a lot less product with this, but you know, when I, when this runs out, you know, in a thousand years, I won't buy the other one instead. So how long does this say this is good for? Six months. Ha, I find that hilarious. I, I've had an open Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion for way longer than six months and it was fine. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary. Do what is safe for you. Uh, I also have a sample of the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Uh, which I've never tried before, uh, and I'm planning to use it because I've heard some things about the glitter shade in the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, the Cosmos shade, so this is what I'm planning to use to see how that works, because I've tried it without putting any glitter glue on it, and I definitely got fallout on my face, so I'm going to give this a go and see if I like it. I'm also going to pick up one of the NYX glitter glues as well and see which of these I like better, because I, I heard they're very similar, and if I can buy the $6 one, I'll do that. And then these are just samples of Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer potions. This came with the original flavor, anti-aging, minor sin, and Eden. So Eden is a nude matte, minor sin is a champagne shimmer, anti-aging is nude, it color collects and blurs flaws, and the original just it dries invisibly. It's it's nude and dries invisibly is what those say. So basically I got a, a big cardboard thing of samples from Urban Decay and I just plan to take these with me when I'm traveling and I don't want to carry anything and I, I want to be able to minimize what I'm carrying with me that might leak. So I'll pop one of these in there. I'll be able to use it for anything because you, I'm pretty sure you can get like two or three uses out of one of these if I just taped it back shut. And then, you know, that's what I would do with these guys. So these guys I am committing to using up. So in terms of a declutter, this is not necessarily the most satisfying declutter video because technically the only two things I'm automatically decluttering are over here, and that's this Milk Makeup Blur Stick and this Poor Professional, which I just don't care for it. However, uh, all of the things in this little pile here I'm committing to that I have to use up by the end of December, and so when I'm doing my December empties, all of this crap better be in there because I don't need to have it anymore. And if it isn't, um, it, it's gotta go. So all of this I'm going to use up this month because I don't need it. 
I really don't. I have plenty of other products. These are all the primers that I'm keeping so far. Some of them I use at different times of the year, like the sunscreen primers. I, I, I save the really good ones for when it's uh, much brighter out, so during the summertime or in a place where it's a lot hotter. Um, and also this Laura Geller Spackle Tinter. I'm going to try it again another way and see if I like it better. Otherwise, I'm going to let that guy go. Uh, in terms of my the rest of these guys, these under eye color correctors, these two are going to go head to head this month. So I'll be picking one of them at the end of the month. Otherwise, the other one's going to go. And yeah, I am just need to use it more of these samples. Because frankly, in terms of primer, it's really easy to collect samples of it. Because I like to try different stuff out. But I don't. I just can't invest, especially as these primers are getting more expensive. I can't spend like forty dollars on a primer only to find out that it half of my foundations don't mix well with it. So that's why I have so many little guys. So anyway, that was it for my primer and concealer declutter. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.